Hello. Day two, Colorado Trail. We are, how many miles did we do yesterday? 16 and a half, 17, yeah, 17. So we're at the Swan River. You know, I just looked this up and I messed up the name already. It is the Swan River. It's the first the Swan Fork River, I think is what it is. Uh, I know Jefferson Creek was before this. Yes. So we made it over uh, the pass, which was Georgia, Georgia Pass. pass. Mm -hmm. That was exciting because we had the rain. It's beautiful. But I wanted to show the campsites here at the Swan Fork River, the first one. So this is the 17 mile, 16, eight mile marker. Uh, we camped over there. There were just a bunch of people here last night. We'll head on down. So today, there's 16 miles left to Breckenridge, or I should say to the highway that is equidistance between Frisco and Breck. We're gonna do 12, we're gonna come up a little short. It's not a bad day, but we slept in. What else did we do? We had breakfast already. Uh, I didn't ventilate my tent enough, so I woke up with a whole bunch of water condensation on the inside of my tent from my breath, which was pretty amazing. And yeah, we're off. Uh, I don't know, we had breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> and if you look around, you can see a lot of the other tent spaces, camping spaces. Uh, the river is very easy to get water from. And also, yeah, go on. Well, I was going to say, and then we're off, but... Yeah, I'd, I was going to say, uh, we're both feeling pretty good this morning. You know, that rest really did us right, so... Yeah, I was pretty tired last night. Definitely. Amazing. I had crazy dreams. We're at uh, 11, are we 11,000 or 10-2? We're at 10-2. What's our watch thing? Oh man, I didn't start my watch. Thank God I looked down. Yeah. Oh. So what, what altitude are we at? I think we're at 10-2. Alright. But that doesn't seem right. I thought we were at 9-8. Oh, it's 10-2. Yeah, I thought we were going to 9-8, but we actually were at 10-2. So the dreams were... Oxygen deprived. I had crazy dreams at Kenosha Pass. It is pretty fun to see what your brain comes up with. Yeah. Okay. This is not a common occurrence of road walking. And then we're off the road. Take a left. Sun feels good. Warm me up. Okay, we are off. Hey guys, Dad and I are making our way through day two on the Colorado Trail. We're still on segment six, the second half of it for us. We are at a great vantage point, so check it out. Weather's a little bit better today. Partly cloudy is a great way to hike. It's, uh, I don't know, about two o'clock, I think. One, yeah, 145. All right. I don't know what ski resort that is over there. I think behind us was Breckenridge, but. Looks fun. Yeah, looks fun, exactly. Uh, and this ends, you know, kind of, uh, I think we've said that at the road that goes between Brackenridge and Frisco. You're right. I well, hope you enjoy the view. We sure do. We sure do. Oh, we got switchbacks in this part. Yeah. Let's take him on another switchback.
uh, the, the trees that are down we think are from the uh, the bark beetle that infests trees and forests. I guess there was a big problem with them a few years ago and uh, so our guess is that these trees are kind of worthless and can't be used for anything but just leaving them here. All right, we'll catch you later. Peace. All right. Welcome back to the Colorado Trail. We are five miles outside of uh, Breckenridge, something like that. Sure. Um, we just rounded this corner and came into a big burned out area. I don't know when this fire was, but you can clearly see there's fire everywhere. Had to have been a couple of years ago because the new growth which is really the reason I turned on. The new growth is so excellent. Uh, they must have had a fire break or something. Like this is, I don't know. It seems so sudden. Just a wall of trees. Looks like further along it did not, the, the new growth didn't happen. Just this part of the mountain. Yeah, and not everything's burned, so they must have done a break, fire break here. What is that? Well, it's where you cut down a bunch of trees purposely, or you light trees on fire purposely oh, okay. to uh, burn out the fuel. And then uh, you do that under a controlled environment opposed to the forest fire that's uncontrolled. And then when the forest fire hits your fuelless area, it can't go anywhere. Pretty neat stuff. We think it's Copper Mountain to the left. We think that's where we're headed. But I may be wrong. All I know is we got another thousand feet to descend before we get to the campsite tonight. And uh, thunderstorms for the rest of the week. How exciting. Those are only in the afternoon. So I'm we're, betting against those odds. Yeah, we're gonna adjust our schedule a little bit. So we do our peaks in the morning instead of in the afternoon. It's good to be adaptable. Yeah, just like these trees. I mean, these things look really healthy. Yeah. Okay, thanks for tuning in.